Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how to create a physical interaction between a liquid and an object using Phoenix, which allow, for example, to creating an object floating on water, playing with foam, etc. For this tutorial, we won't cover the foam effect, only the physical interaction, but it will be available exclusively on Patreon with a bonus tutorial. So don't hesitate to check it out if you're interested, or you can directly process the file on Gumroad as usual. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are into this max and now we'll see how to create the liquid simulation. So here, I have the Phoenix liquid simulator. I will create one here, like this. Go to the menu, in the grid and select maybe 40, 40, and Z to 70. Go to axis zero, zero, perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do is to use this box to create the liquid simulation. So I will go here in Chaos Phoenix Properties and activate Initial Liquid Field. Okay, I can now launch and we see nothing. It's because we have to go here in the menu, not grid but dynamics, and activate Initial Fill Up. For the level, I will not set 50% but 70% percent better like this i think let's see great okay i think it's great like this you can go here in the grid and if you want you can increase a bit the voxel size to have better simulation so 0 0.7 yes more voxel here as you can see it will be better okay so now what we want to do is to create the physical interaction between a solid object and the liquid here. So I will now create a solid object, maybe a sphere to try. Okay, simple sphere here, axis zero, 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 and like this. Now what I want to do is to create a physical interaction. So. To do that, I will go here in Phoenix and create an active bodies. Active bodies here. Go in the menu. You have here the solver with bullet and basics. We will keep bullet, which is very good. And we'll now click on add and select the sphere. And now if we launch the simulation, you can see that nothing happened because we have to select the active bodies in the Phoenix simulation. So I will click on my Phoenix simulation, go to dynamics, go down in the menu and here you can see that we have active bodies. So I activate active bodies and I can now pick my active bodies. Okay. So now we can relaunch and see what we have. Okay, so now as you can see, we have a physical interaction between the liquid and the sphere, but the simulation is not very good as you can see, and we want more interaction between the two. So I will show you how to fix that very simply. First, the simulation here is very too dramatic for me. So an easy way to fix that is just go here in the grid and increase the sense scale. I can maybe go to five and now relaunch to see what we have. Yeah, it's very cool like this. It's up to you to play with the sense scale to create the look you want for your simulation. If you want something very dramatic, you can decrease the sense scale. But if you want something more smooth, more motion design look, you can just increase the scale. Okay, so I will just go in the preview to see more my simulation. So here, in preview, I will activate show mesh. Okay like this, I can show here the mesh, perfect. So I have here the simulation, great, it's very cool. It's a very cool effect, but now I want more interaction between the liquid and the sphere, and I want the sphere 
to go up to have a better interaction here at this level. So first I will just activate my layer and here as you can see you have the active bodies, Phoenix, your sphere. It creates a sphere center of mass and a clone for your object because as you can see here the sphere is not enabled for the render. Here the copy with the clone and the simulation created by Phoenix. Okay. If you want to more control the interaction between the sphere and the liquid, what you can do is to click on your object, right click, Chaos Phoenix properties, and here you can play with the density. You have here a lot of presets like wood, boat, ice, water, etc. plastic. Mm, you can so you can control here by end or use the preset. You can of course control the friction with the active bodies and the end with the fluid. So in my opinion, the two better way to control the interaction between the liquid and the solid is here with the density. You can increase the density, maybe 2000. Okay, relaunch. So now, as you can see, the sphere is very massive and I don't have too much interaction here with the fluid. I can now go back and maybe set a very low density, maybe like 200, relaunch. And now we have a very different result. You can control here in the Phoenix properties. So I can go back to the initial value, 1000, or you can go here in the active bodies and play with the fluid density multiplier. So if I go to higher value for the fluid density, maybe two, and I will launch the simulation. You can also see that you have totally different looks. So it's up to you to maybe play with the two value. What I love to do is to increase a bit the fluid density and play here in my sphere, in my object, Chaos Phoenix properties, maybe increase a bit the density preset. I want something like maybe plastic. Okay. And relaunch. So I have here a beautiful effect for the fall. After here, really cool shock wave, as you can see. And if I select my sphere, I can see the sphere go up to the top of my liquid. And of course, I have beautiful interaction here with the liquid. I will just click here during the simulation and just deactivate the particle preview. If I want to smooth a bit, you can go here in the mesh smoothing and select maybe a value of 10. You can decrease a bit the particle size if you want. Here, use liquid particle, maybe 0.9, great. Another thing that I like to do is to change the mode of the mesh. So here, I can go in rendering mode and change the mesh to cap mesh. As you can see, we have here the level at 70%, but the cap mesh is too low, so I can just go here in ocean level and increase the value to 70. Perfect. And now, let's see what we have. Very beautiful. Okay, so now you can see the interaction, but the result is not perfect for the moment. What you can do to fix that, it just go here to dynamics, Increase a bit the step per frame. Same for the voxel simulation, maybe 0.4. I will go in the active bodies, maybe increase a bit again the fluid density 1.8 and now relaunch.
and now we have a totally different interaction between the fluid and the solid. Of course, to finish, what you can do is just go to rendering and we will not select cap mesh but ocean mesh. Yes. Of course, it will be better with a more large, but the result is already very good. Very cool like this. Can maybe control the fade. Okay guys, so it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. As I said, you can find the complete project file on Patreon with the FOB effect included or purchase it on Gumroad. You can also follow me on Instagram or beyond if you want. And don't forget to give me a thumb up if you like my work. See you very soon for a new tutorial. Bye.